What happens after this snowstorm moves out? We got some ridging out west and we move through next week. Well, models are suggesting that we're going to continue this polar flow out through the upper Midwest and then through the Northeast. You can see this 540 line that's continuing to barrage the Northern Plains, potentially Great Lake region and Northeast. So a continued flow of cold air out here and moisture. Now, if this dips down a little bit more, we could actually end up seeing a lot of snow out through this region over the next couple of weeks. But you can see it's really towed in the line here. Our Euro actually likes our freezing line a little bit farther to the south here if we were to move forward. And we're continuing to see clipper after clipper after clipper try to dive through the upper Midwest Great Lake region and New England. So I think it's going to be pretty wet and cold out here for a lot of us in the really upper Midwest through the Great Lake region and Northeast as we move through the next couple of weeks. And we could get a lot of precipitation, some as cold rain, maybe some as ice, maybe some as snow. We'll have to see as we get a little bit closer. Last but not least, our Arctic oscillation is looking like it wants to stay negative through November and potentially the beginning of December. So what does a negative Arctic oscillation mean? I talk about it a lot, but that's when your polar jet is kind of getting slowed and disturbed up there over the Arctic. Typically, you have some high pressures or higher heights moving into that region or some Arctic warming. And what that does is as that polar jet slows, some of that cold air spills down to the south. This just suggests cold air at much lower latitudes than it should be this time of year. And depending on what you have with your PNA and NAO and WPO, EPO, all these oscillations, that can tell you where that cold air is likely to be. Is it likely to be more central, western, or eastern? 